assets. Assets like if you have low line, okay, people can still borrow you money. They can still give you loan. If you have airports, if you have uh, uh, crude oil, that you tell them that they can pump as much as much as they want. You have to like uh, slash the price. So if they are selling crude oil for one hundred ten dollar per barrel, somebody wants to give you loan. You can say, you know what? I can't buy it for one hundred ten dollar. I'm going to pay sixty sixty dollar per barrel. But I'll give you that uh, two billion dollars you want. Okay? Then we are going to pump that oil until we realize our money. Until we, you know what I mean now? Assets. That is what Nigeria has left now. Assets. Excuse me. Somebody is talking about audio. What happened to the audio? Uh, if your audio is acting up, I would implore you to sometimes, uh, maybe you should come out of it. Is it better now? Is it kind of clearer now? Is that? Okay, let's check that out. There is, uh, maybe it's because I am kind of leaning back and forth. Sometimes it happens that way. Okay. So give me a sec. Yeah, I think we are fine. My audio is fine on my own uh, device there. Um. Let's see. <laughs> no, my is still here. We haven't really offered uh, the mic. Okay. Let's assume that it's better now, is it? I will take uh, note of that part if it is better now. All right. But I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what happened. So give me a sec. Okay. It is better now. Fair enough. I was explaining the concept of a loan, lender, and then the borrower. I've been no big with you, the caller. I was explaining that how Nigeria, under this APC, entered into this generational indebtedness that your children will pay their own children will pay your children children will pay but some of you don't know the consequences of that it means more poverty more insecurity crimes corruption name it So, whatever it is, I would advise uh, everyone to uh, try and possibly increase yours, whatever is the problem. I don't have any audio problem, okay? I know so many people are saying the same thing. You should check your own uh, device. Just check your YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube or you are watching on Facebook, check that uh, where do you have the volume, okay? Sometimes your volume may be up, but on YouTube itself, your, your volume may be halfway. I wouldn't know why, but I will implore you to check that, okay? So, if you would listen for a sec, right, I will share a, uh, an audio with you. In fact, hang on. I will consider that a distraction if, uh, after advising us what to do, uh, we still continue to say audio, 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 then I'll consider it a distraction and I won't bother saying anything on it again, okay? So, this is my own uh, phone, right? Now, I am going to get onto that uh onto the broadcast so we can both confirm it now now i am going to get onto that uh onto the broadcast so we can both confirm it now so whatever is wrong now, with uh I am going to. whatever is whatever is wrong with your audio i advise you to come out of the broadcast okay and go back in all right there's nothing wrong with the audio nothing ever wrong with it so if something is wrong check it look at it okay and go back in all right 
There's nothing wrong with the audio. That's my nothing own device. Nothing wrong with it. So if something is wrong, check it. That's my own uh, audio. So please stop using that distraction, please. If you can. I will even stop talking soon. Okay. So what you should know is that uh, if you're having the audio issue, it may be because I'm moving back and forth. And it shouldn't, by the way. I've got something that I actually deal with that. So if something is wrong with yours, just take a moment, tap the screen, right? And check uh, where you see the volume. YouTube volume on its own. Sometimes it can be halfway. Okay. I'm going to stop talking about the audio, okay? Sorry if uh, your audio is not... Uh, probably coming out too well, all right? Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Hmm? Please. So, let's continue. I'll try, by the way, let me see if I can position this differently. Uh, make a bit of a difference, I'll say. Right. So, that's how Nigeria entered this indebtedness to the point that uh, they can't pay up anymore. I didn't say that. I didn't, you know. You may not understand what that simply means. It means that uh, that Nigeria, you know, that Nigeria is done for. As rich as they might tell you that Nigeria is, eh? Nigeria is broke. The only thing left is for them to begin to sell any of your assets, any of your properties, whatever they can find anywhere included if they have to start selling some of you, the Avuvu sellers, send you into their enslaved, I mean, what their slave camp somewhere in China, because they have one there. Ask the Hugo people. There are people called the Hugo people, right? They have a concentration camp they have for them around there. Yeah? Seriously. So that is the, the what you got, that should be, uh, in my own opinion, right? That exactly is the destination that uh, the legacy that the likes of Etif Nubu said they are coming mm? to entrench or to live on or build on. So Nigeria is broke. Nigeria will soon go bankrupt. And as it is, they said, even though your debt as a, as a country, your debt is, uh, put it this way, your total debt as a country is now over 50 trillion. 50 trillion. But there is another debt that they are hiding from you. They are not telling you. That debt is the money that Amy Fioli, Central Bank of Nigeria, the money they have printed, like printed and given to Bokuari. They have a name for it too. If you are an accountant, I'll be worried of you. You probably will know the name for it. What do you call that? Eh? She, they, they call her loan. I've been an impress. I've been a, they have a name for it. When central bank uh, will print money, okay, purposely to give to government to augment any deficit. When government revenue is short and they can't match any external, um, external loan, they have a name for it. Amy Fioli has printed over 21 trillion naira. That is, that is nearly half of the total debt of Nigeria. Amy Fioli printed this money between 2015 eh, and this 2022. They didn't declare that you don't know that or anything. They printed that, they gave it to them. So that is why I said, rather than you jumping up because they said they could rescue Nigeria, they don't need you to rescue Nigeria at all. You can't. And that's why they are not interested in election themselves. They are not planning an election, okay? They are planning a switchover. And that switchover, right, is not for Tifnumbu this time around. It is not, even if it's much, much desperate than that. Nigeria has collapsed beyond where they can do a civilian to civilian transition successfully without a serious uh, a serious battle and that battle is there's no chance that any of you will win oh at last last nigeria will win you are you are lying to yourselves you are 
They are not interested in election. You are. You are interested in it. They are not. Today, a dollar is over 680 naira to a dollar. They wrecked your economy. They destroyed every institution. And they still have the audacity to say they have done so well, if not for them. They say some of you, Nakutu Wenji, you for your, your, your own refugee camp for day now. That's what they are saying. Some of you are ungrateful, they said. If all of you are so grateful, you should be grateful. If, you, if all of you can think, you should be grateful to Bokuari. That's what I said. That you should be grateful. And therefore, intelligent people are those that are going to what? They are those that are going to bring her back uh, APC. I am here to see what they have to say, even though we know they have nothing. But they are willing to spend uh, hundreds of uh, billions of Naira just to keep this contraption Extend your sufferings, I beg you, even if you know they pity yourself, can you at least pity your children or pity your parents? You have seen them gone through a lot, haven't you? Talk to them. Eh? Nigeria won't save them. You eh, have no future in a place where the future is already mortgaged. So when they tell you, think about your future, think about your future. Many, many of us have found out that uh, they lied to us. There is no future anywhere. Watch your mouth. Watch what you say. Uh, be careful of what you say. Don't get people offended. Because people that will need to help you, you need people to help you. They conditioned you that way so that you can come back and say, what? You are unlucky. Or God, does, God didn't like you. That is why he preserved you to suffer and die, as the politicians will say, no. The conditioning can stop. You can change the narrative. You can decide what your future will be like. But if you if you continue to believe all those uh, all those uh, all, all those worries, there are many in Yoruba land. They will think they are advising you. Why are you not supporting Tifnumbu? Think about your future. You have no future in uh, yeah, Tifnubus Nigeria. Tifnubus Nigeria is APC Nigeria. You have no future to be given to you by the unifier, PDP, people destroying people. There is no future anywhere they are offering you. You have no future from any kind of uh, whatever Peter B and the rest of them are saying. But guess what? Eh? It is always better that uh, you, have a, you have a clearer understanding and make your own choices. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because you are conditioned to believe that, uh, right? There's always going to be something. There's this something that will happen. And then uh, your are No, 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 no. There's no future. None. Listen. First, speak your mind, especially if you are Yoruba. That one is so important. As a Yoruba man, they lied to you. They said, uh, Rot your jaw, Lyle. Be careful so that you don't go and say something to those who are going to help you. Because in Nigeria, eh, it is man knows man. Yeah, you've got to know someone who knows someone. At least before you can say you are going to probably make a difference in your life or anything. Can, you know, in a way, you need somebody that, need, that knows somebody. Not because you are... You have it in you, for real. So there are so many people who don't know somebody and they have died eh? with the future or, well, let me say, with the dreams they probably thought uh, they could uh, realize in Nigeria. So they lied to you when they said, keep your mouth shut. When you see them do the evil, they always come back to you. The ones that take that's taking away your jobs, Taking away your, I mean, the, the, the good life that you should have. The ones that are taking away, uh, you know, your liberty, so to say. You can't think, you can't talk, you can't, you can't express how you feel, right? The one that has taken away your economic power. And the one that is always, every day, now threatening what is left uh, with you, your life. So they say, keep your mouth shut. When you keep your mouth shut, eh? 
the result of that is the validation of the same system, which is Nigeria. Don't believe them. Oh. There is no light after any tunnel. There is no future waiting for you anywhere. You see, all of these people are trying to scrape whatever they can scrape, including your life and your future, if they can have that too. Just whatever they can grab from you. So don't help them. Don't let anybody blackmail you into believing that, uh, you know, supporting all those rogues who are blackmailing you in your different local communities in Yoruba land. Look at Ifnubu who need help. She na Nigeria need uh, help. I've been at Tifnumbu need help. Between Tifnumbu and Nigeria, now who they supposed to start uh, go fund me for so that they can go take care of him if they don't get money to put him in an uh, old people's home. Eh? If they put Tifnumbu down and they put Atifku and they put Nigeria, eh? before you come and talk about uh, solving Nigeria, you they see Atifku, you they see Tifnumbu, who are you going to help first? Who need help most? If Numbu is one of them, especially if Numbu, you know that if Numbu needs more help, and that one, why one can't help you, help your life, take you out of the the the, the, the dungeon that uh, Boko Hari has uh, dipped you into, eh? There's no future anywhere. Else. Don't let anybody continue to lie to you. When you want to speak out your mind or you want to go after them, eh? And they say, hey, you, you these people, hey, you this, you think about your future. They are lying to you. They are lying to you. Ask your uncles. Ask all those your uncles who are in their in their forties now, in their fifties. Eh? I'm not talking about the ones you you said. Uh, I mean, some of you are seen as uh, stingy ones in your family. Oh, you see that one that you believe that has money, but he's been avoiding you. I'm not talking about that. One. I'm talking about your that your nice uncle, that uncle that they told you was the best in the school. He was the most educated. He was the most brilliant student. He was he represented the school this and that they thought he was going to be an engineer. It's going to be this or that. Eh? Now Kada Egbonde right now. Ask him. Ask him what they told him when he was younger. What they told him about his future. What they told him not to say. What they told him not to do. Because if he said too much, they will say maybe he said something too much about against his future. Today they are telling you that uh, you are seeing a sick Tifnumbu. Eh? They are telling you that because you are a Yoruba man, right? That uh, you should follow them. And because of that, if you see anybody talking about Yoruba nation, Yoruba nation, you should consider them as your enemies, right? Tifnumbu, Kolu. And they are telling you that think about your future. Think about your future. Listen to me. There is no future anywhere in the hands of these people. If you really, really want to think about your future, you are never going to gamble it on these people. Take that to the bank. And that is why I always want to emphasize on uh, many, many of us who are Yorubas. We are very, very kind-hearted people, open-minded, right? And very, very generous. I say this with all sense of uh, sincerity. If you indeed earn it, most of the time you have to earn it too. All this kindness, generosity, beauty, open-mindedness uh, or open harm and all of that of the Yoruba people. Sometimes uh, you have to end it or end them. And once you end them, you have them all through and through. Even when people are not so kind to us, we still tend to show some level of a kindness, uh, especially uh, us as, uh, as Yoruba people. But they have taken advantage of all this meekness. And, I mean, they have taken advantage of all this uh, kindness for meekness. Uh, all our generosity, uh, sometimes they've taken them for, 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 for weaknesses as well, right? Uh, they've taken them for cowardice. So, um, as Yorubas, I'm appealing to you that if you believe very well in your own uh, future, you should know this. Nobody is going to give it to you. Tifnumbu is not one of them. To, uh, one of those that will give them to you. In fact, if you are looking for this uh, description of uh, thieves who comes uh, in the night, uh, when the thieves comes, they come to do three things. Right? They come to steal. They come to uh, destroy and they also come to kill so that's exactly what they represent they have killed every institution that could give you or give your life meaning the aged people in yoruba land are going through hell in the hands of the rogues who call tifnumbu their godfather okay in yoruba land we see the young young people many many of you are currently your future oh your future well for those of you also uh building your future uh, through education, 
how is that going now for you? APC, that is also the political party of Etifnumbu, right? They have no idea and they don't give a damn even if you have to stay back in that your homes for the next one year. But listen, there are some of you who are like, they were, you are born slaves. Some of you, you inherited slavery. Some of you, eh? You, in fact, you, 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 uh, what, what do you call it? You adopted slavery into your lives. Some of you, uh, you were sold into slavery. Whatever it is, you will continue to give excuses for the same people who don't give a damn about either your future or the future of your children or anyone that is associated with you at all. But then, here we are. Since, like I said, some people were born into slavery. Some people sold themselves into slavery because of, uh, you know, their greed. Uh, some people inherited slavery. Sometimes it is family, generation to generation. And it is something of pride to some of them. And they will be like that for a long time until we have, uh, until we have a generation that will put an end to it. And that's what we are doing right now. Okay. No matter what it is, uh, I have figured out that, uh, you know, uh, the, the criminals that we are mentioning today who can easily play on your emotion, your intelligence, your whatever they can do and all of that. Uh, they also know some of this uh, reality that some people are willing, the obedient fools, the sophisticated the morons, the ombud slaves, they are willing to to validate them. So I'm appealing to you. That's what I'm saying. I am appealing to you that when they come with their blackmail, you should never let uh, the omolua be in you, the honesty that is supposed to be in you. You should never let them go to sleep and let some miscreants, some cold hearted slaves eh, to blackmail you into this madness, this charade. When you meet a Yoruba man now, they will tell you, yes, they support Yoruba nation. But the first thing is they want Tifnumbu to be presidiot. And some will even tell you, I am supporting Tifnumbu because he's a Yoruba man and I'm not an Omo Ali. Do you know the real Omo Ali is in Yoruba land? These are the people who brought in APC, Egbekegbe. And then when the APC, Egbekegbe, and the Aquila squad uh, were unleashed or invaded our people, and our people are dying, our people's uh, businesses have been destroyed, right? Farms ruined, and then the farmers killed, and our people became refugees because of the incessant attacks from this uh, Fulani terrorist, right? Those who brought them, what did they do? They maintained a conspiracy of silence, right? So, the Omo Koyorubas, they spoke out. Some of them even were ready, right, to confront this set. Some even confronted these terrorists. They were ready to even put their lives on the line. Guess what? The Omo Ali's in Yoruba land, your political leaders, your roguish criminal leaders, right, who are so comfortable with what Nigeria is doing to us, right, uh, they decided to go after those Yorubas. So if you are looking for a Moalis, you will pick Tifnumbu 1, you will pick Pastor Ruga 2, you will pick uh, Fashola 3, you will pick Aregbe Mubu 4, you will pick Konefa Yemi in Ekiti 5, you will then stop by Inondo and pick uh, uh, wait me, name again, Arakoni Akere Dolu. You will begin to pick all those your roguish, atlas criminal leaders who maintained a conspiracy of silence for seven years. Even when we shown the videos of the Yorubas who have become refugees in another country and what pushed them there. And then uh, you, a young man, you have the audacity to call the Yorubas who rejected this uh, drug baron, heroin trafficker, and this uh, the rest of uh, uh, his rest of uh, 40 thieves who have made Yoruba land poorer than you can ever imagine. You had the audacity to call them Omali. Eh? That is the problem. In Yoruba land, there is a saying. That, uh, if, you, if you don't... Uh, the people that watched Yoruba land, 
degenerated to the state of despair that we have now. Even to the state of fear that many, many of our people are having to live with now. They have the audacity eh, to turn around and call the Yorubas who can see through their lies. Call them Omoani. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, they said that uh, when a house is really settled, now because the bastard in that household, or oh, let me say the bastards, the kids are yet to grow up. And that is why today, eh, despite uh, what we are facing as a people, despite uh, the losses that Yorubas have recorded for being part of Nigeria, despite them turning us to second class citizens in a supposed uh, united uh, country, right? They want you to believe that a uh, yeloko. Nah. So the message around there is this. Nigeria itself will show you your place. Even if we say this one million times, and somehow, somehow you continue to figure it out to evade the conversation or evade the facts. There is something I have learned over time. Nigeria has a way eh, of making you regret, believing that uh, there is a chance, there is none. And the reason why this is going to drag on for long, where an ordinary Yoruba, son and daughter is unaware of who he or she is. Therefore, the conflicting identity that the roguish political class always milk eh, will continue to exist as well. So, discovering ourselves, understanding the, their politics, knowing that uh, none of them is in our own interest. But we can turn the tide. We can change the entire curve. Yes, we can turn the curve to our own advantage. And the question people are asking then is that uh, how? I said one, like the fire brigade, as they say, I've been a boy scout, always be prepared. So somebody was asking me a question earlier today and that person said my ego let's say for example we wake up tomorrow and there is a martial song that uh, another fulani kanuri awusa or just anyone from anywhere has come out to say everything you have been saying nigeria is broke politicians have looted everywhere dry Nigeria is bankrupted. Terrorists have overwhelmed, I mean, they have overpowered the security. Uh, yeah, the citizens are being kidnapped, ransom paid, and all of that. So the military need to come and save the day. And then they just save everybody from this doom. So, my ego. So, if they now come out tomorrow and then they bam, 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 fellow, excuse me, fellow Nigerians, that let's be honest. Do you really think? Eh? The Yorubas, they have what it takes this time around to break out of Nigeria for good without having to hand Yoruba over to the people that we use her as negotiation again, like they did with Nadeko, like they did with Afeneferi, and like they did with Obafemi Awolowo's name. And when that person asked me that question, I was like, man, that's a deep one. A lot of people don't want some of this uh, political class in Yoruba land, whether PDP or APC. They want Yoruba nation. And they want Yoruba nation that is completely the void of uh, all these uh, characters, that they should never be seen anywhere near where real decisions that has to do with the people are being made in a new nation like Yoruba nation. And he said, but if uh, there is a military coup tomorrow morning, eh, number one, it's going to be a total reset. 
there will be no PDP, there will be no APC, there will be no Labour Party, there will be no Atifku, there will be no Tifnubuta. The majority of them will run away. There will be no, no assembly, there will be no this, you know, they will begin to appoint this or that. That person said, what would Yoruba do? Mayegun? Oh, Omo. That question hit me, but I have an answer. The question hit me in the sense that, number one, there will be no peace. There will be no peace from uh, the people of Yoruba land that will show any military coup that these people might uh, want to pull at the last minute. Because there's also they are already saying it that they are already saying that it is already time, it's already ripe for it. From what they are saying, Buratayi the butcher eh, could be coming back to save the APC egbe, egbe, to save them the day. And don't ever say never. Don't ever say never. But one thing I'm very sure of is that uh, uh, there will be more rejection from southern nigeria how long that rejection is going to be is where i said when they asked me that question i'm like ah Omar, how prepared are we that if they eventually bring their shocker nigeria is gone okay they are military that they are already giving money to eh they can strike anytime. And the people that are bringing them are no other people than the desperados that want to be president of Nigeria, want disjointed Nigeria. They are already financing this uh, behind the scene. I'm not trying to spook you, okay? I'm just trying to let you know that uh, when it happens, what are we going to do was the question I was asked. And I said, I, as a person, I'll be one of those that will help to make sure that uh, that uh, military coup, whatever, is never accepted in southern Nigeria. We will spend money. We will mobilize. We will spend money. We will spend whatever it has to take to ensure that uh, they never, ever, ever receive uh, the support of the southern Nigeria. Ah, this, look, look at this. Oh, are you going, when the military will bring military tank out, uh, then you will realize that uh, this is not... Uh, 1990 this is not 1983 this is not 1970s uh, whatever this is not 1995 this is 2022 okay so it is going to trigger something something that even they themselves yeah they probably would never expect it or probably they would never be prepared for it but like i said how last is it gonna be when they begin to move there because it is not good you know Whatever resistance that the Southern Nigeria is going to pull for any of these stunts, yeah, whatever Southern Nigeria is going to pull, uh, it is not going to be crushed by the military tank. It is going to be crushed by the same desperado that kept us under this barbaric rule, under this barbaric arrangement in Nigeria. They are also going to be those to crush such a resistance and that's where that like i said the question got to me and i said oh Mo, sometimes if we have to be if we have to if we talk a lot about uh, what they are doing and we have an idea of what is likely going to be the end result of what they are doing and we sense that uh, uh, when that happens right it is not just going to it is not going to affect uh, those who uh, give them that or push them to that edge it is going to affect many, many of us who choose, who are screaming never to follow them to that edge, okay? So what do we do? It could be a window. I'm saying this to all of you now who are, uh, you know, pro-Biafra, pro-Yoruba nation. I'm giving you this intel that uh, when people say uh, Biafra will come anytime soon, and some say Yoruba nation will come anytime soon, it is going to come if you are indeed ready for it. When I say ready for it, sometimes when you look at the actions of uh, what uh, these rogues are doing, they are overconfidence and all of that stuff, you know that the end result is going to be a serious uh, doom, okay? So when that doom happens, right, the way you react, 
as well as well as uh, the way you handle it, it uh, will depend on your own preparation as it is right now. It should be us uh, putting our resources together, getting ourselves uh, ready uh, as, uh, as a people, right? That uh, once uh, they uh, trigger that article, break it up. Article break it up is the article of a military takeover. Uh, it's a two-way thing, okay? Uh, the first one would be, could they use the military as their saving uh, to save face? Saving face means they've destroyed Nigeria already. They have committed the genocide all over Nigeria, right? So by the time you begin to go after all of the terrorists they brought into Nigeria, you will figure out that uh, all of them who have been in different political offices under this APC, PDP, you will realize that they are the sponsor, financier of those who have been murdering Nigerians since uh, for the past 12 years. So by so doing, you will go, uh, what do you call it? You will, go out, you will need to go after them. And if you go after them, majority of them will have to spend the rest of their lives in jail, maximum prisons. Bokwari is going to spend the rest of his life eh, in Ake, in a prison, a four by four prison. They have built it for him right now in uh, in Amsterdam, in Noland. Eh? Are you are you listening? There, there are same thing with uh, Malamun. Same same thing with so many other of your roguish uh, criminals who have uh, committed genocide in the name of APC. Eh? Be, be, be. So they might want to save face and bring one uh, uh, one uh, uh, terrorist in uniform to declare that they have planned coup. They've taken over Nigeria. Sure, you get me now. So they may do that, and they may wait for the election crisis, which is another one. They have already set it in motion. Muslim Muslim tickets. So they have already set in motion. What we find out, what what we trigger that a religious war. In 2023, if they hold their election, remember when uh, when Bokwari lost the election in 2011? Did you remember that then? Eh? Over 400 human beings were killed. How many of you remember that? Of course you don't now. Shebi, 2011. Over 400 innocent people, Christians, youth coppers, were killed because Bukwari lost election. You know what they said? Jonathan won. They said Jonathan, an infidel, defeated Saint Buhari. How is that even possible? Then the the Imam, the Amula. You know what they told them? They told them that the Unyamiri, the Igbos. The uh, what's it called? Uh, the the Christians, the infidels, they were the ones who rigged the election for Jonathan. Eh? If many many of you who served in Bauchi, some of you who served in Northern Nigeria in 2011, if you are watching this video, you will confirm what I'm saying to you. Over 400 human beings were slaughtered in a space of uh, two days in Northern Nigeria, 2011. That is why. That was why Bokwari had to warn Jolantan in 20, 2015. He said, if what happened in 2011 should happen again in 2015, monkey and I mean, baboon and dog, they will be soaked in blood. Do you know the monkey, uh, monkey and dog or the baboon and dog that were soaked in blood? Over 400 innocent Nigerians were slaughtered by Islamic fanatics of a CPC in 2011. It was this same fanatic. It was this same fanatic, Islamic fanatic of a CPC that marched with Tifnumbus ACN, Okorochas Apga, eh? uh, Obunaya Onus ANPP. Now all of them, then uh, Saraki, Atifku said, new PDP, they put themselves together. They call themselves Legacy Party to form APC. The Legacy Party, oh. now that is why those who are now the Kaba, the terrorists that are controlling everything in Bokwari's government, they are the members of the old CPC, the same political party 
that uh, supervised the killings of over a hey, over 400 nigerians because bokwari lost the election and they said he lost the election because Fidels, Christians, Igbos, they rigged the election for Jonathan, an infidel, a Christian. They didn't tell you, Abi. I'm telling you now. So they said, if you try same thing again in 2015, baboon and dogs, they will be soaked in blood. Who are the baboons and dogs? You. So they are now setting the template for 2023. If their military no overthrow them to give them safe landing, now Pastor Ruga, I pity most. When uh, Bokwari overthrew, uh, overthrew the Shagari government, hmm? then carry Shagari, put him inside one uh, self contained and suit, pres excuse me, presidential suits. Is deputy, eh? Then send them to Kuje prison. Kuje, then Borobashege. You destroy Nigeria. Now, Pastor Ruga is the pity most. The fake pastor, Pastor Oniro, Agbalagba Oniro, 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 Jati Jati. For seven years, eh? The special advisor to Bokuari on the barrier arrangements. Condolences matter or condolences visits and trade that money. The way he was receiving medical treatments eh? abroad, do. he will come, he will go to Germany, take a quick uh, medical checkup, do all of what they have to do. Then he will quickly stop by in America, do some quick uh, checkup and the rest of that. But when, when the way he now lost uh, to his own uh, boss, Jaga Banditi, the Jaga Wiri, the Jaga Addicti. Suddenly, the weary said he had the leg pain. They had to do operation on the leg. Now, then they found special or private hospital in Nigeria. Come see post. Come see picture. Sorry, Shamini, on a we met a combe injury. Make it look like I'm just observing this hospital. Uh, oh, yeah, Shamini, another. Shamini, another on a we Make it look like this is me trying to put on my. My operation, operation uh, shit. Yo, Shamini, another one now we make it look like uh, I am uh, so happy to see all these doctors. They now share all the pictures. They said, hey, look at this. We should be so proud. Pastor Ruga is taking medical treatment in Nigeria. And guess what? It actually made it to the headlines. When they grab him, should I say to him to lose operation? Yeah. If the coup happened, they will put Bokwari inside the uh, ass or rock old people's home. Okay? He go they chop his uh, 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 fura de no no there. Now, Kujé, he de, oh, you le jesu le jagan. I'm like, Bedurum Kujé. I lock him up with, uh, oh, still lucky, Yari. Eh? The he get a lot of inspiration, aspire to perspire, acquire to maguire. And then all those uh, motivational talk, he may actually share that. But if they take him to Suleja, Suleja, or Kiri Kiri, that's what they do. So I pity him on the side, and I know pity him on the side too. Somebody where, we, 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 uh, you know, someone, professor, professor of law, sharing money to buy votes. He got to a stage, eh? They have to go and shatter more more helicopter for him. They loaded the, the helicopter with money. Helicopter enter Kogi airspace. The thing no fit carry them anymore. Just 30 minutes uh, flight from Abuja to Kogi. Oh, the shopper, yeni. Bora! The shopper crashed. This pastor, Ruga, no si say, God no like all this. You are a pastor. You are deceiving people. You cannot be doing all of this. This is ungodly. He didn't give up. He went on to see go and share money in Kogi. And then he came back to go and do Thanksgiving. With the balance of the money that crashed in the helicopter. So when the LA, this one is no busy when a leche banji no, 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 they are all a leche. So when they come for them, if they have to use the coup to as a saving grace to ease them out from them, I mean, uh, you know, uh, to protect a uh, bookwari from uh, 
being held responsible for his uh, crimes, Bokwari has killed more than uh, 30,000 Nigerians. Bokwari is a war criminal. Bokwari Malamu, uh, Pastor Ruga, APC, Egbekebe, eh? Majority of their key players, they are war criminals. Nigeria police, Nigeria general, service chief, retired, and those ones there right now, they are war criminals. They have committed genocide, especially in eastern Nigeria. Bokwari's government, with the Nigeria military aid, they colluded, they brought in uh, terrorists who have killed over 45,000 Nigerians in seven years. So I'm not making it up. Don't, don't, don't open your mouth like, Sare, you think I'm joking? Eh? I'm not joking. Because they never get to your side. I mean, you are pretending that it's not your side. Or you are, because they haven't kidnapped you yet. Eh? No joke. Um, you see, in, from that statistic, right? They in the, we, we, I mean, in the last seven years alone, they have killed over... One, I mean, sorry, over... 3,400 policemen, their soldiers, you know, force men entirely, security officials, whether na soja, whether na DSSO, whether na uh, NSDCCO, uh, what did they call them? Uh, police. -o. Terrorists have killed over 3,000 of them. So if I tell you that they have killed over 45,000 Nigerians, you think I'm making that up? No joke. It's up to you. Everybody just choose uh, you know, uh, poison. You get that now. So if they don't take them to so ease the way for Bokuari, punish Pastor Ruga, eh? then they've already paved the way for 2023 20, Muslim Muslim that uh, is also going to help them trigger another religious uh, war. Shebi the other day, one of them was saying that uh, Yoruba Muslims are tolerant. Oh, was you? Look at me, very egg I'm not even going to say a leg bon, a leg bon, a leg bon, a leg We say, sir, we say, you are a Muslim, Abi. We are, we know you as a Muslim. Mbo, you will very soon, you are not going to be tolerating people who are not a Muslim anymore. You are not going to be tolerating some of your brothers and sisters if they see anything sometimes that you believe that uh, Islamically they are supposed to be, they are supposed to be chopped their head off. Mbo, Egbon we say, now so go be for here, for Yoruba land. Ah, it go long, you. I don't lie, you. Ah, it go tau. Ah, tau. You know, we, you can say, ah, uh, uh, tau fiki. I will go in your caram money. Tau. Afa, you afa will tell you that, eh. Uh, Dama Yegun is saying something against uh, uh, Allah, against the prophet. So you, Tao, you will come, they want me. They tell me, say, well, wow, granny, all this thing you are saying, you know, ah, no try and again, no, we, go we go cut off your head, you. In Yoruba landi. Ah, erore o. Erore o. Because what they are plotting now is that before your 2023, the whole argument is going to be Muslim versus Christian, Christian versus Muslim, uh, this and that. And to me, I go day in between. They hold your hands, make kuna no fight. I go to tell you, say, you know what, them? These rogues are not doing them for you. Are you going to hold yourself like, say, you be angel, uh, uh, what is it called? Angel Gabriel's uh, PA. I've been, uh, you be the, uh, you be the, the uh, gatekeeper, the, 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 what do they call it? The, the night shift uh, worker. For hellfire, where they know people where they come in, or people where they where know they come in. Oh, now you did the gate of heaven with the Baba. Leave uh, prophet, leave all these people alone. No, oh. when politicians won't play you and mix your head together, they begin to throw them at you. So they are already setting this pace. So if the APC, if they lose election, if they do election, no, oh, they can't lose, or oh, they see say they don't they lose. Now from northern Nigeria, they will start the killings. So you know. And, uh, you will see the campaign. Now, that's what I'm saying. That uh, Why do you want to waste your time? Why do you really want to risk it all to help fuel the fantasy of these rogues? Let's break it up. Join us. Eh? Let's tell them 
We are not interested in all of this. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a pure waste of time. Once they get what they want, you are back to the trench. Yeah, you are back to the trenches. Back to square zero. Yes, you will be back even to the square was. Or you can tell them you don't want this. Oh, boycott the election, okay? Boycott it. Don't waste your time as being part of it. If the numbers, you see, not voting is also voting. Do you know that? They will make you think you have to. Ah, my everything you have been saying, I, I, I don't agree with you that people should not vote. I'm advising you not to because you would. Some of you are already going to. Well, guess what? When you are done, eh, you're going to come back to me here. Yeah. I don't go lie, they say, may you they come back on, they ask me, am I what is the solution now? I'll say, ah, she, she, bad, no. 2015, we were talking, don't follow this road, so they go, they go take you to where you don't know. Oh, now nah, change you want, now nah, change you want. We love Nigeria, our country must be great. Now, you don't day inside there, rough or rough. You don't enter, you don't enter pit. When I won't do them again, I they tell you, no do them all, no do them all invalidate it completely so when that is done right then let the real uprising of first statehood declaration start but that's the preparation part too. that is that preparation some of you if i tell you don't you will still do it anyway but i'm also saying it to you when you when you do it when you are done right don't come back here in 2024 because 2024 is going to happen 2025 is going to be here and on and on. Yeah, if we live long enough. Then don't come back and come there. Hey, what is the solution? I will keep repeating this to you. So, in order not to wait till 2025, 2026, and all of that until this happen again, for me to remind you, that's where the preparation part comes in. Are you ready? Are you actually ready to move? The mount, I mean, to move the mountain, move anything that is movable, to prove it that, yeah, you know Nigeria is not ever going to work for anyone, but there is a particular one that can work for all of us. We are not moving, we are not moving ground or moving uh, our, our uh, moving land or anything. We are still where we are. We just want to redefine how we are governed. Wouldn't you love to see that or experience, I mean, experience that? So that is why when they... When they try to blackmail you because you are a Yoruba man or a Yoruba woman, listen to me. Do not fall for that uh, prayer, okay? Just know one thing. You stay on and be steadfast as you are. There are others who are also joining you. And sometimes when these people don't experience what is coming, they will likely never, eh? Believe what you saw that made you choose never to be part of that, okay? So that is why you, that and all of us that are so much uh, in tune with what they are doing, we know the, we know the danger is coming, okay? If Kalu can't have his way, they would have to uh, start uh, uh, a sort of a religious war, starting from northern Nigeria. And they believe that uh, they would have uh, their, uh, their ready-made, uh, you know, tool in southwest Nigeria, especially those who are already going to have started the violence before the election. So last, last, when I don't hear about uh, operation, I mean, you don't hear about uh, where it's here, Abby. Uh, you have, uh, you know, this time around is going to be spontaneous and people are going to react as well. So that's the second one where their military and all of that and their coup, yeah, can also pop in. Hey, that way, somebody said something a while back. He said, Mayegun, we know we can never be blackmailed by anybody because we know what is going on. And we also know that uh, the election is a pure distraction, especially for those who have seen through the, uh, the trauma that APC unleashed on them uh, for the past uh, seven years. But we know it's a distraction. But sometimes, right, uh, if they don't uh, experience what it means to get burnt again right or even if nigeria if, i'm sorry if nigeria doesn't happen to them sometimes it won't make uh, these messages meaningful to some of them because this is so recent and if anything happens now in fact it is they are happening in our favor that's what that person said a caller on this program he said it is happening in our favor our people have been distracted our people have been lied to and our people have been blackmailed 
to accept what is not in their interest whatsoever, right? They are not being given any choice, okay? But mm, uh, by the time Nigeria happens, which is going to happen soon, eh? it will be a tough job to say it to you. You, yeah, you watching me right now. It will be so easy when next I tell you, right? Yoruba nation or Nigeria, it will be so easy. You are going to choose Yoruba nation. I believe that. But sometimes, eh, it will take uh, an accident, a recovery that you will later call a miracle for some of you to meet that reality. Whatever they are, they are giving sniffing, I mean, giving you to sniff into your nose, I mean, your nose is right now, yeah? Uh, the Kool-Aid, it will fade off soon. I mean, you will see it so clear. And at that point, you are likely never going to be lied to easily anymore. Many of you, you've never liked my face for so long. I'm talking about uh, the Lagos above Bakus and all that. Well, you see all these things I'm discussing with you. I am actually trying to save you. I'll keep saying it. I am trying, I'm trying to save you from your own ignorance or greed. But if you ended up uh, uh, in the dragnet of uh, what you want to drag yourself, uh, yourselves into, right? You are not hurting me. In fact, if I tell you to, to drop uh, that one Nigeria they are forcing on you, or you are forcefully embracing, right? And pick up your real identity, the real you, who you are. Eh? If I tell you to do that and you do it, you are not doing me a favor. You are not doing anybody a favor. If anyone tells you, right, that uh, listen, the Nigeria that you see today, with the level of the rogues that are in charge and the rogues that are lining up to be in charge as well, they don't mean well. The end result will be calamitous. And then you listen and you do the right thing. You are not doing me a favor, right? You are doing humanity, not just yourself, but humanity a favor. If that's something you would do, how about you do that now? So you are not, you see, if somebody says, join Yoruba nation, and you say no, you are not hurting anybody, okay? But yourself, if they say do it and you join, you are doing anybody a favor, but yourself, in fact, Maybe you might be doing uh, the generation after you some great favor, like your own children, right? But if you think, listening to the truth, doing the right thing, never allowing yourself to fall into that trap of uh, blackmail, eh? eh? they are all bad. All of them are bad. Well, when we saw we were all bad. We were all bad. We are, all, we are all Yoruba. You see, these people are all doing the same thing. Yoruba, I, will, I mean, the Igbos are supporting their own. Uh, Awusas are supporting their own. Uh, uh, why is it that uh, they only the Yorubas? They are trying to blackmail you. Okay? Tell them. If they say the Igbos are supporting their own, eh? Tell them you are not uh, from Igbo land. Whatever makes Igbo support their own, not them oh. Meanwhile, it's not true. You, have you ever seen where Igbos, they beat their own uh, politician? Eh? You don't want to do that, Abi. Eh? The other day, a Yoruba man said that, uh, Arekbe Shola, Arekbe Shola, the way they run away. In Germany, a query man do run. They run after him. They, come out, they, co they collected his cap. Now, them invited him for Yam Festival. Honorable Minister, Yam Festival, come Yam Festival. He came to Yam Festival and I beat him. So one weary, one Sule Igbira, one Sule Omugo, eh? and one uh, Mugu, this Indomi generation uh, uh, morons, eh? who tell you that uh, the Igbos are, are defending their own. And you, as educated as you are, you're like, ah, that's true. You've had their name in Ah, Raje. If you care for your children, if you care for your life, the first set of people to run away from are the people with the brooms. APC, they never meant well. This is not even like making things up. It is what it is. And then when you see a Tifku and gang, if you run, eh, as you run for APC, you can't see a Tifku on the side. 
they shout this unifier, unifier, and all of that. Baba, if to say in a place where you feel fly, I beg, add flying to it. Too. So if there's something you should run from, run from those who are telling you that the damages and the divisions done, I mean, division done by this uh, APC, they have a solution on it, I mean, for it. And in that solution, they are asking all of you to come and work together. Let us work together. Let us build our country. They are lying to you. If you ask me, what, my, what should I do? I will tell you, run, oh, run, oh. By the 1st of August, eh, we are going to launch uh, what we call the Yoruba Union. This is going to be the beginning of uh, what you can call the readiness of uh, the Yorubas for any kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, eventual eventuality. If they pull any stunts, when they tear your Nigeria down, we must be on ground eh, to reap from the, from the rubbles. Some of you may not understand what that means. Me, I do. And that is why I choose to work uh, with uh, people in that who want, uh, uh, who want uh, results, not just words. So by the first of uh, this month, I mean first of uh, August, okay, we're going to launch. We're going to launch uh, the Yoruba Union, which is also going to have a a, a segment of it called the Yoruba Rescue Fund. Uh, you are going to see something new. This is uh, somewhere that. Uh, Yorubas are never going to be afraid again uh, in the next uh, couple of months. Yorubas are not going to be afraid again to converge. Eh? They are never going to be afraid again eh, to, to mobilize in Yoruba land. Right? We are going to do something that has never been done before. Okay? We are going to bring the Yorubas out this time around. Just same way they are bringing you out to come and profess uh, loyalty to the same hegemony that is, uh, you know, that is enslaving us, milking us, looting us, and sadly killing us. Do you get that now? So we are going to have something like that, something huge. We're going to have the full soldiers who are going to be well and well remunerated. When I say well remunerated, I mean these people who have access to the proper resources to do the evangelism. Should be you they prepare for 2023, Abby. We self could prepare with you. So when uh, you now manage to get to that uh, your 2023, as the APC, as they are also, uh, you know, as they are planning for the barrier of the reasonable people, especially in Yoruba land, and bury our future, bury us and bury our dreams and our culture, whatever it's going to take, eh? many, many of us are going to rise. We're going to rise. You're going to see us. You're going to see them. And you're going to see what we are capable of doing. Yorubas are going to come out. And they are going to come out for one thing and one thing only. They are going to demand eh? for Yoruba nation. They are not just going to demand. They are going to get it. And the process for it, you will watch them start it. But first of all, eh, get yourself ready. Warm yourself for it. Because when it is time to go for it, August 1st, the 1st of August, you must never be found wanting. So we won't be talking. My team said they want to be acting. We want to have results. And then uh, to have results means that uh, you must uh, uh, at least mm, have the resources to do that. So to my fellow Yoruba brothers and sisters, especially on this uh, temple of truth, please have this in the back of, I mean, the back of your mind, okay? A day of reckoning is near. And you, eh, as, uh, as a soldier of uh, freedom, I am asking you now, to get and begin to polish and clean your hammer. You are going to wear the hammer of uh, can do. It's called the can do hammer. We will, I mean, you say, yes, we can. And yes, we will together. I was planning to take a few calls tonight, but it seems that uh, I actually stretched it uh, a bit uh, further than uh, usual. So what I'm going to do is that uh, I will still take calls. But that my call is going to be uh, taking just uh, two, three calls, and then I will call it a night. But before we do that, let me make some tea. When I get back, eh, I'll take the calls. 
can still like the video and I'll be back. Oh,